Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel All About VA. Uh, this is going to be a session on Azure Functions. Using Azure Functions, how can we know the sheet names of an Excel file? That is what I'm going to tell you today. So for that, we are going to make use of Pandas library, you know, okay, and using Python, of course, because uh, this seems to be the easiest way. And that's why I tried this way. There are multiple other ways using C sharp and all. Uh, but this video is going to be about using Python and uh, getting the sheet names okay we will be calling this azure function from data factory to get the uh, sheet names as well all right so what this uh, code is doing it is very simple code okay uh, in order for you to do the same we will need visual studio code this is the software that i downloaded along with that we will have to um, do certain prerequisite downloads uh, like certain modules that are required for this so that and all you can once you start installing visual studio code you can automatically um, do one by one and uh, arrive at the result okay so I'll, I'll quickly discuss this code so what this does is this is a very simple function that will get triggered on a HTTP trigger okay HTTP trigger based uh, Azure function all right and then um, we will be uh, getting the file name in the uh, parameter query string um, basically uh, when we are accessing a website uh, we will be passing on certain query strings right which which are like parameters or variables that will be used by the website so similarly we get the file name in um, the query string called name and we assign it to the variable called file name okay and then if file name is none uh, we don't want to do anything if it is not none if it is if if something has been passed in the file name then we do uh, certain things so what we do we declare the storage account url so this is nothing but uh, you you can get this from you can easily construct this this is the storage account name blob.core.windows.net um, my file is there in the adls uh, storage okay so uh, but still uh, we will be using blob.core.windows.net all right and then storage account key here is the key that you can find in your data lake storage account okay and then local file name you have to prefix this is nothing but see when we want to know the sheet names we have to download the file uh, locally okay and then we have to open it and then we have to uh, read the sheet names without opening we will not be able to know what sheets are there that is why we have to uh, get a copy uh, down maybe this is not required but this is the step that i followed uh, if you you have better approaches you can let me know so that i will know as well all right so what uh, here i am doing is i am downloading the blob downloading the file and then i am opening it and then getting the file name okay so for downloading i need to give a, a, a file local path so for that i am giving temp this is mandatory if without this it throws error uh, saying um, the file that you are going to download and open is read only okay read only issues will come if you are not prefixing this with the uh, file name that you are trying to open and get the sheet names all right and then container name where your uh, file is present all right blob name is nothing but this is the file name that we got in the query string from data factory so data factory will be sending me the file name so that file name uh, a dot xlsx b dot xlsx just the file name all right and then it's time to download the file so this code will be downloading uh, it will be creating an instance for blob service client and then using that blob service client instance i'll be getting the blob client okay using that i'll be uh, opening or i'll be downloading the uh, using this instance blob client instance i'll be downloading the blob and then uh, i'll be reading the content okay reading the content on to blob data sorry not blob data my blob my blob is nothing but the local file that i have given so what we are trying to do we are downloading the file and uh, we are creating a local copy and giving the name that is given in the um, variable we are just using the same name as the original file name okay so the whole uh, content it, it does nothing it just downloads the blob and keeps on the working directory of your azure function okay and then this time is nothing but th this code i got from microsoft site again um, they are just using time one and time two to calculate how much time it took to download so this and all you can ignore all right so once the download is complete in this part i am just trying to open the file using pandas pd.excel file of local file name okay so this will be giving me the content of the uh, 
எக்ஸல் ஃபைல் இன் அ டேட்டா ஃப்ரேம் கால்டு டிஎஃப் ஓகே யூசிங் டிஎஃப் டாட் ஷீட்ஸ் நேம் ஐ வில் பி கெட்டிங் த ஹோல் செட் ஆஃப் ஷீட் நேம்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஐ ஹேவ் டு ரிட்டர்ன் இட் பேக் டு மை அஜியோ டேட்டா ஃபேக்ட்ரி ரைட் ஸோ ஃபார் தட் வாட் ஐம் டூயிங் ரிட்டன் ஃபங்க் டாட் ஹெச்டிடிபி ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் கமா டாட் ஜாயின் டிஎஃப் டாட் ஷீட்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் சி யுவர் டிஎஃப் டாட் ஷீட் நேம்ஸ் இட் வில் பி எ லிஸ்ட் ஓகே லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஷீட் நேம்ஸ் லிஸ்ட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் யூ வில் பி ஹேவிங் ஆல் த ஷீட் நேம் செப்பரேட்டட் பை காமா இன் சைட் அ ஸ்கொயர் ப்ராக்கெட் ஸோ ஐ டோன்ட் வாண்ட் அ லிஸ்ட் டு பி ரிட்டர்ன் பிகாஸ் திஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் வில் த்ரோ ஏரர் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ட்ரைங் டு ரிட்டர்ன் அ லிஸ்ட் ஓகே யூ ஹேவ் டு ரிட்டர்ன் அ ஸ்ட்ரிங் பேசிக்கலி ஓகே ஸோ ஃபார் தேட் வாட் ஐ எம் டூயிங் ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் கன்வெர்டிங் த லிஸ்ட் டு ஸ்ட்ரிங் பை அப்பெண்டிங் காமா நோ ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் திஸ் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஃபார் டூயிங் தேட் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஹோல் ஸ்டஃப் தட் ஐ ஹவ் ட்ரைட் ஐ இல் ஷோ யூ ஹவ் இட் ஒர்க் ஃப்ரம் um as your data factory and how do we call this function uh, i'll prepare one full video for uh, installation and the workspace basically the workspace is completely new for me okay like likewise it will be new for many people as well so i'll be taking some time uh, this week and i'll uh, prepare a video for uh the workspace experience okay so for now let's not worry about that but just a code all right so this code is uh deployed to azure and i can call it back from my data factory so how can i call from data factory i can simply use an azure function and then in the settings if you see uh, uh link service is pretty uh, simple okay uh if you open my link service for azure uh, uh, function it will be pointing to the uh, function app url you will need a function app inside which you will be creating functions right i hope you know that um if not i'll i'll touch upon that as well in a different video all right so um, function app url will be given here and then function key every function app will be having keys just like how uh a data lake storage has keys right so you can go to function app in azure portal and get this key so once you do that uh, you are all set we don't need parameters and all i just write something okay so what basically you need is function app url along with the function key i'll i'll cancel it for now so that the changes are not um uh, reverted all right so uh, how do we call the function so this is just pointing to my um function app but i have to tell what is my function name right so http trigger to this is my function name and we need to pass the file name right in order to get the details of sheets so um, using a question mark i am just passing the query string name equal to a.xlsx this a.xlsx where it is residing it is there in my uh, data lake storage i will be showing you and how does the uh, function know where it resides we we have already declared what is the container name and uh, what is the storage account name what is the container name in which we have the file if you have it in one more subfolder you have to prefix that folder here so that's it okay i'll quickly show you where my file resides and then i'll run my pipeline so this is my storage account if you look here i have two files a.xlsx b.xlsx i think both are same only but i'll try to run it from here so right now we have passed uh, a.xlsx to the azure function uh, while uh, creating and building this functions i had lots of issues with the visual studio code that i had to come overcome okay probably i'll uh, Uh, touch up on those little later and if you are coming across any you let me know in the comment section so that if i could help i'll definitely do my best okay so let it run and why not uh, have i developed it in the portal because i was not allowed to use third party uh, dependencies like pandas and all in portal so that's why i downloaded visual studio code to do this okay so response from the uh, function we have three uh, sheets in that file i mean uh, in, in the data.xlsx export summary all about bi and subscribe okay these are the three uh, sheets i'll just try with the different uh, file now b.xlsx okay let's see how it works the code is very simple Uh, anybody can understand but uh, the process is quite lengthy uh, probably it takes some time for everybody to set up the workspace and uh, learn the basics of uh, visual studio code so once you do that it's all uh, very simple so my code is done export summary adf subscribe so previously we had 
export summary all about BI and subscribe uh, in this sheet I have export summary ADF and subscribe all right so this is what I had for uh, this video uh, I hope you find this useful let me know in the comment section as usual and thanks a lot to all the subscribers and viewers we are uh, nearing uh, 15k subscribers um, I'm grateful to all of you who have been watching this channel since the beginning and inception I'm grateful to all of you thank you so much keep watching keep supporting